You uh, you ready to talk about it yet? No. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Talk about it tomorrow. 34 o'clock. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah. Man, it sure is ironic. 24 hours later, you're wearing the exact same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Oh, <laughs> Time flew by. Yeah, it did fly you. by. You know what else yeah. went flying? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff went flying. <laughs> so, uh, uh, man behind the scenes had a small little accident. But uh, the good tell news. Tell them the truth what happened. The good news is only the dozer got hurt, not you. Yeah. And, and uh, it just. Like a love tap to the glass. Love tap to the glass. That's uh. Then you want to tell them what you did? This is where you threw the wall. <laughs> I wish I had that on. I wish I had that on uh, on video. Yeah. So we were. Uh, if you guys don't know, we just came off that big clearing job we did. It was kind of like a last minute, uh, yeah. last minute deal. And I hit a walnut tree, and I thought I got bombed because a bunch of walnuts come down on top of the traco. Yeah. So I was cleaning them out and he was over there minding his own business playing on his phone. I threw one of them at the window. No, I was hunting for my phone. Oh, hunting for the dozer phone. ate my phone. I was and, trying to find it. It's a good thing you're short because I think you would have jumped through the ceiling. <laughs> I think what happened, that was a weak spot in that oh. glass. So. So. All right. That, the walnut had nothing to do with this. I promise, folks. I promise. All right. All right. So this is, what, uh, this is what happened, man. I'll be honest with you guys. Clear and brush. It's it probably wasn't the spoon's fault either. Wasn't the spoon's fault. Clear and brush is probably one of the most dangerous things we do, and uh, I'd be lying if I said I never broke a window. I think there's only one broken window of mine on camera though. And that's the Volvo. Yeah. One forty. Was that up there on that clearing job or that? Yeah. Well, we were piling up brush. Yeah. Same thing. The other time I broke a window on the one twenty, I was going down the road in low boy trying to rock hit it. On uh, the semi. Yeah. Oh, really? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that turkey jumped out and got my headlight on my service truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Aaron was pushing some brush up there. This is one of the last passes we made. That's why it's not on video in the last one. And long story short, a limb broke off, swung around, and uh, got the glass. I'm glad if it was me, I probably would have had the door open and it would have got probably both pieces of glass and possibly yeah. even the door frame. But uh, fortunately, it just got uh, just got that back glass. Now, one thing we do got going for us is this being a military dozer, it's got a split cab on it. So this window frame is actually made to unbolt, so you can uh, take the top of the cab off and it'll fit back in a cargo plane. So if you're gonna if you if you're gonna break a piece of glass on the dozer, I'm glad you chose this one. Yeah, you broke the best piece possible. Maybe, hey. maybe the front window because it unbolts and it's a lot smaller. Can you break you the front window? There, the mirror ain't broke. No, but you got some funny looking dust in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. You got a mess to clean up. What is that? What is what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's in there too. <laughs> That's what happened. You got scared. You ran into a tree. Yeah, yep. That, yeah, a bull skull we found. So, what I'm thinking is this piece is just glued in there. I think we unbolt this, take it to our local glass shop, and just have them cut one. But I think we ought to call Clint and see. Yeah, let's see what Clint's got. Right, let's call Clint real quick. Yeah. How are you, sir? Oh, uh, truck driving, yeah. Truck driving? Well, man behind the scenes, uh, man behind the scenes had a little accident. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> We're looking for uh, a side window for an 850J, possibly. Oh, yeah, like the. <laughs> Door glass or the side side window? No, the nope. side side window. I have my door closed. <laughs> yeah. What did he do? Uh, he uh, tried to push limbs with the window instead of the blade. Oh, that don't work. No, no. It worked good for a while until it didn't. <laughs> so uh, I get those cut at the local glass shop. Well, that's what we were just we were just talking about. Just unbolt this frame, take it down to the local yeah, glass shop. Done. Just to unbold it. I mean, the guy was here charged me. I didn't send five dollars. They even paint a block around the edges where they. they okay. Wrong, but well, that's I, what I, uh, that's what I thought. I figured. Option, so. Well, just for the record, you're being recorded, and if I didn't call and ask you, everybody in the comments would be mad at me. So I can say I called and asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's all I do. With we we go through those quite often. So 
they get they blow out on down the road so they don't get them good goods. Really? Yeah. When they originally put them in there. Well, maybe that'll be the story we went with. Let's do that. <laughs> Delete the video. <laughs> <laughs> but now the door glass I can get pretty cheap aftermarket through ITR. So. All right. Well, yeah. hopefully we don't need any one of those for a while. So. Yeah. All right, well, you have uh, you have safe travels, and we're going to play with some broken glass. All right, have fun. <laughs> See ya. See ya. All right, well, All we're right. back to our original plan of... Yep. Who had the military thought, you know, one of these days, we're going to have a random Yehu running this. May or may not be a name, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make this super easy to unbolt. They did a good job of that. I like it. Now, I'm going to set these right here, so don't scrape them up with the glass. I'll tell you what we'll probably uh, do. After you get the window frame out, we'll put them back in the holes. All right. I like that. All right. I got I got it up here, I think. Okay. I think. That's sharp, so don't oh. the glass. <laughs> I'm glad you pointed that out. I wish I had a camera on you whenever that stick come to say hi. Yeah. Yeah. I asked him if he jumped more than he did with the walnut. More. It is ironic. This is the same window that uh, the walnut hit. It is. All right. Let me hop down. I'll grab that for you. It's a long ways down off this thing. If you guys didn't know. Oh. I'm gonna set this over here by the door. Did Chris? Did he ever bring my clean underwear? <laughs> yeah. So, Farmer Chris, we left him went to lunch. Come back, and uh, Farmer Chris visited while we were gone. He asked if Barry needed to change the underwear. So. All right, well, while we're waiting on uh, your last to show up, you want to uh, finish our tweaks back here on our ripper mount? Yeah. That's right, safety first. You know, I should probably be wearing some sort of gloves doing this. Yeah. I think gloves would be a good idea right now. Yeah, you're probably right. That is some sticky stuff. I took it to the glass. Ow! Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, let's put some gloves on. Yeah, we definitely need some gloves. That hurts. You got a piece of glass in there yet? Yeah, I do. I think that's the right the tool. I'm sure they make a little scrape. I'm sure they have a glass. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a... Uh, Looking for a scraper right now. I got one clean, but it's a pretty big one. See, I wonder if you couldn't get a corner and get that corner started and then take that scraper and as I pull that out, because I'll put gloves on my hands and I'll kind of pull that out and you can just scrape it off. What do you think of that idea? Well, I think it's a cut glass. It's not looking good. That's what I mean. Ow! There we go. <laughs> we got all kinds of gloves back here. <laughs> all right. Ouch. Let's regroup. All right, we'll regroup with the right tool. Better yep. prepared. Gloves. Gloves. Uh, Proper scraper. Proper scraper. You gotta keep okay. a switching. Yep. Now you go that way. Oh yeah. Glass cutting's gonna love us. Yeah. Do you guys even see? It's like jewelry down here. Well, I'm glad I got them. You take that. Oh, a meal on the glass. Then you found a good sticky spot here. Or the bottom of whatever side this is. The bottom come off easy. This side come off so easy. Good. 
I don't know what's worse in your hand, glass or a metal burr. Gosh. I don't know, I'm wearing gloves, so I didn't get any. Almost there. Oh. Ring of beauty. Yes. It's like a little glass snake. There you go. That's the cleanest window we got in the place. <laughs> <laughs> so in full disclosure, since we videoed your screw up. Yeah. I figured we'd video my screw up. Yeah. Now, what in my defense, if I had a spotter, we probably wouldn't have had this problem. I was well, if them trees would have spotted for me and set something <laughs> to me, I wouldn't bust the window. <clears throat> so I loaded the tile plow on the trail the other day. Apparently I set it right down on an airline. I think it's an easy fix, except for the part where the airbags are full of air. Got that fancy little switch back here. That makes it nice. That way you don't get all that dust blowed up in your face. I can get it now, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Help it a little bit. There you go. Let her fly. <laughs> what they can't see is we can feel ourselves going down. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, I need both hands for that one. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. All Don't right. you wish your window was just easy to replace? Oh, I do. I wish it was this cheap too. Just fun spare hose laying around why can't we find a spare windshield <laughs> laying around or a window he tried to call a plant yeah all right all so right. i'll go ahead and get your side because it's easy all right there's that side there's that side look at that all right good as new Whew. now i was just looking i mean is there somewhere else we could have ran that to keep it out of the way like back behind here it's the same way all the other ones are ran yeah i know but it seems like if you'd have took it and ran it back behind Did there you, back behind here yeah you were awful like here yeah like that like here you're yeah. gonna try to do better than the factory well now it's too short no it fits well that way if you ever drop something down in here again it don't blow the airline all right. all right we go back to your problems <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess we can all right man behind the scenes all right we got your uh window glass dropped off at the local shop this morning i think they're gonna be able to take care of us for no major expenses yeah expenses yeah. i don't know that's not even a word expenses expenses there you go thank you that's, that's all we make a good team <laughs> all right so we're gonna tackle this little project this here is uh how do you want to explain this uh we may have caused it, but it's not our weld that broke. No, no, it ain't our weld. So this plate was on here. Right. This plate here. Correct. And then we came back, these ears here, they are on here. Yes, we which is where our, the main pull from the plow, plow comes, from. comes from. We welded them on, welded them on with stick. And basically what has happened, it's not, I don't want to make, oversell this, but where this plate is attached to the ripper, there's a big robotic MIG weld right there. And way down here in the corner where it's got a lot of stress. It's easier to see on this yeah, side. Yeah, you can see it easier if they can look, they can see the We crack just got a hairline crack starting to develop and we're trying to uh, try to stay ahead of it before it ends up being a bigger issue while it's in here, correct? Correct. All right, so what's your plan of attack? Well, as bad as I hate to say it because I've ran many years of these art gouges, but I think art gouges are <laughs> Today. So your concern is with this being MIG, yeah. you need to basically build, I'm just gonna dumb this down, a bulkhead. Yes, a bulkhead. So then you'll together. so basically you're gonna gouge out from here down. Down, yeah. Which is where most of the stress is at. That'll all be going back with stick. Stick. Yep. And then I'm gonna build a couple little gussets to put in there to kind of help spread that load out on the bottom. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be uh overbuilt and good to go, right? I hope so. Alright, so here's the question mark. Your old trusty welder out there ain't been started in a while. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. the last thing we welded was that. That was, was like a year this? and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, because the old last, well, last thing we art gouged was the kingpin on yeah. the old trailer. We don't have that trailer anymore. 
Yeah, uh, I guess that would have been the last thing. Yeah, uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Before anybody judges me on my clutter back here, mm -hmm. we've got a plan to make some of this disappear. <laughs> we just yeah. can't quite yeah, disclose the plan yeah. as of today. Yeah. So they're just going to have to stay tuned for that. Yes, they are. All right. This thing has been sitting here for a while. I'll make sure she's still got oil in it. That's not the pre check yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll use try, this one. Try the yeah. Hey, it's got oil in it. Alright. Think it's got an antifreeze in it? I did. Okay. Man. Uh oh. We may want to add a little bit of that. <laughs> Hopefully it's got fuel in it. Oh yeah, we got a feel, we just need water. Making sure it wasn't like oil I'm putting in here. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a legit possibility right oh. there. Can't be too low, right? No, not at all. Oh, I see her fill it up. I think. I can see it down in there. Yeah. It see. just needed a little top off. That's perfect, don't get her too full so she don't have an overflow tank on her. I got her too full. <laughs> All right. Give her a little pat for good luck. You ready? No, I'm not. Well, I gotta remember how to operate this thing. I think that's on. Oh, hey. I'm gonna do a little. We'll give her a little preheat action. Yeah, give it a little preheat. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, I hit myself in the other camera. Woo! I can't All right. Got my earplugs in. Ready to rock and roll. Just. Switch the so take, take two. Good batteries in this one. I just changed them a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna try this. <laughs> this is my welding helmet. That's my gouging helmet. So you're worried about my ground. Huh? You're worried about my ground. Yeah. The ground wasn't dead, the hood was. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody's ever gouged, but it gets pretty bright. Yeah. So basically what you're doing is taking, what is that, basically a lead rod or graphite rod? Yeah. And, and it heats that up and then the air you hear is blowing that out of there, right? Yeah, so the air is actually doing the cutting and it goes a lot quicker than grinding. So yeah. That's why and we're And you can this. somewhat control it. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got control, more control over that than a torch. But yeah. it's noisy, loud, messy, and it's hard on the welder. Yes. Because exactly. you're always loading and unloading it. Yeah. And we're using my welder, well, yours, but Do I, I even own a welder? No, you don't. <laughs> uh, you're getting ready to, though. Oh, am hopefully, I? Hopefully you're going to get a welder soon. Oh, well, that's good. That's then, good to then know. Then I can take mine to my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to get the water. <laughs> yeah. Take two. You did pretty good for not being able to see what you're doing. Yeah, it was just really, really bright. There we go. I don't know what that sounds like on camera, but it is loud and it's a very annoying sound. Check on All right. What's the verdict, Master Inspector? We found the corporate problem here. Corporate? Yeah, we're going to call this a corporate problem. <laughs> yeah. Is that hole right there. I don't know. So if you guys can see right there, 
the robot. We're just going to blame this on the robot. Yeah. Left one hell of a void in there. Yep. And uh, which obviously resulted in a weak spot, which obviously resulted in a crack that will travel. Yeah. So this side here, pretty straightforward. This side here is a little bit different. It's almost, it's hard to tell, but it's almost like the corner of the plate maybe broke off. Yeah, this plate. Yeah, the, this plate here. Come down there, but Aaron's pretty much got it gouged out where he's chased the cracks. It's hard to tell what's one in there, especially the lighting, but this is the base metal going back in there. You can't really even see the gap between the, the crack between the two plates, can you? Mm -mm. No. Well, this side I could. I could see what I was doing here. This side. Yeah. I never could really see anything real clear besides the base metal going back in it. So what's the, uh, I'm not a welder, so what's the next uh, step? Clean that up a little bit Ride and then start. And clean it up and then, uh, yeah, start welding back in. And we do have, so after Aaron gets this all welded in, I'll show you guys later, but we do have, we're gonna put a couple little guts to try here, which should help spread that load out on that lower part. Should tie this, that plate, and this all together, right? Yeah. And that'll also give us an indication if we got an issue before it ever gets into anything majorly structural. Yeah. All right. I like the plan. We have a plan. Okay, air left up here. Uh, well, a little shy there. A little yeah. more here, here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it burning through my cap <laughs> on this side over here. I don't know about you guys. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> All right. Well, Aaron's over there welding his little part out it's looking really good i'll show you guys here in a little bit we're gonna work on a project because we got a little bit of time i know you can find this hard to believe but he don't want any help well so we're gonna let him go but we're gonna work on a project that's been in <laughs> in or around the shop for over two years and that is our side mount brush hog we converted into a brush hog that fits on the 120 you guys that have followed the channel for an extended period of time i know i usually mow my front hill every two years this fall makes three years it hasn't been mowed. This thing's been broke for over two years. Let's get this thing fixed. We got a little bit of time and maybe, just maybe, we'll get our hill mowed at some point. <laughs> right. First things first, you guys haven't noticed, we're missing a blade and this thing is way out of balance to just one blade so the way this thing works these blades are made to swing so if they hit something hard they'll kind of bounce off that without breaking anything this is what they call a stump jumper so if you run over a stump it kind of helps you jump up over it instead of hopefully breaking shear pins and stuff you guys that don't know this used to be a side mount brush hog on a tractor it used to if you guys see like the carry highways mowing ditches and pulled down it still can be mounted that way we still have the rest of this thing but ever since I retrofitted to fit on the 120, that's pretty much the main way it gets used. So get those blades back on. We got this specialized looking bolt. This part down here is what the blade swings around on. This color right here is what it tightens up on. This right here is what kind of holds everything uh, tight while you're tightening it down. If you look on the back side over here, we got an inspection cover. We can see through to get in there to that. There's a little bit of groove in there where this thing fits in there. So let's see if we get it all slid up. The real question is, can I do this by myself without needing assistance? Oh, maybe. Stay. Do not move. Oh, come on now. Be nice to me. Sweet! Give me a shot, tighten it up. Oh, come on, baby. Check it out side, make sure. It Yep. Oh yeah, she's swinging freely. Sweet! That was easy enough. Let's see if I can explain this to you guys the best I possibly can or the best I know how. So, 
And this thing was on the tractor setup the way it was factory. You gotta imagine, it had a big old apparatus to come out here, and it had a hydraulic pump that ran off the PTO, and then it had a hydraulic reservoir, and it had a pressure line to return line to come over to this motor. So it was all one self-contained unit. Pretty much impossible to run it backwards. Pretty much impossible to overload it. So long story short, that motor was designed to run without a case strain, which is all fine and dandy until we hook it up on the excavator. And as long as you use it properly, it works fine. But inevitably what happens, somebody, forgot, somebody forgets to turn it to one-way flow, which means you have a non-restricted return, or somebody accidentally hits the button the wrong way and it tries to back feed all up the return. Without a case strain, it blows the seal out of the bottom of that motor and start leaking hydraulic oil out the bottom. So I don't want to go through the expense of running a case strain all the way up the boom of my machine for something I use literally two hours every two years. So what we've actually did is retrofitted a different motor. This is the case strain right here. This is a one-way check valve and it goes into the return line. So one, it pretty much, uh, pretty much idiot proofs me from doing anything I don't need to do. And if this thing does build case pressure, what it's gonna do as soon as you let off the button or as soon as it feels a little bit of vacuum on the return line as oil's flowing, it'll basically suck it and evacuate it out of there. Also, a completely different style motor. It's a little bit more purpose built for the application on the excavator versus the application on the tractor. It's spec for the excavator, not the tractor, but it'll still work on the tractor even though it's spec for the excavator. The excavator is a more heavy duty situation. This is a more heavy duty motor. Hopefully that all makes sense. Here's the next thing. This little bitty bearing housing right here is supposed to be filled with gear oil. It has never held the gear oil uh, since the day we had this thing. It's always leaked the gear oil out. And then this seal blows out, it always kept those bearings lubricated because there's always leaking hydraulic oil down in there. If we were going to use this thing on an everyday basis, we would uh, try to rebuild that, rebuild the seals, yada, yada, yada. Keep in mind, we use this for about two hours. Let's go crazy here. Four hours every two years. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pack this, fit this housing full of grease. That way those bearings run in that grease. And then in two years from now, we go to do this again. It takes two bolts to get that motor off there. We'll repack that with grease again and uh, just go. I got a brush hog, a five foot brush hog I really use on my little tractor. Uh, the housing is actually cracked on that one. I pumped it full of grease like 10 years ago and I used that one a lot and it's still going. So I think this is a, a band-aid fix for what we're trying to do. And this little lock and lube attachment, I should be able to get that grease down in that bearing real good. I'd like to be able to get it down below. There's actually another bearing down in there. Naturally, gravity will take over, but we'll do it again. It's pretty. Like I said, it's kind of a band-aid fix for what we're doing and what this is. It should get us by. It's not a piece of equipment we use every day of all the time. So here's the next thing. I bought this motor almost two years ago. Never put it on here. I don't think they got a return policy after 30 days. So I sure hope this thing, sure hope this thing fits down on there. Oh yeah. There she is. All bolted up, good as new. I got a little bit of plumbing to finish up. I need to get it hooked to the excavator to uh, make sure I get that right. So I think that's as far as we can go with this. Been kicking this thing around the shop for two years. Should've just did that a long time ago. 
She's looking a little better there, man, behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. I good news, I got my brush on fixed. We've been tripping over that for two years. I think it can officially <laughs> go can, out. We can move it out. <laughs> I might need, I need to use it, so I need to. All right, yeah. you ready for your extra credit here? Yep. What do you want, it just like that? Yeah, they got me You want fine. me to drop it down a little bit? Does it matter? I think right there will work. What All right, think? go for it. All right, eyeball. Uh oh. Anybody ever told you stick welding is brighter than MIG welding? Is it? Yeah. Just in case you're ever wondering. Uh, Alright, one side now. You ready for the other side? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't watch me do this. I downhill that somebody yell at me for that. <laughs> but it's just a it's just a if you would have kept your mouth shut, it would have been our little secret. Yep. Alright, you like it? The real question is, do you like it? I guess I can't see it. Oh. Oh. I think he just went on my pliers. I'm welding everything but the piece. <laughs> you get a good rod. This is take there. two. Now, this is take two on this one. You like it there? Oh, yeah. Eyeballs. Okay. Yeah, it don't look too bad, does it? Uh-uh. Oh, I like it. Well the way, little buddy, well the way. I'm not a real smart man, but I noticed two things. Uh -oh. I think you're done. I think you're out of rods. <laughs> yeah. I am down to 6010 and uh, <laughs> half a 78. I'm glad you didn't waste that last half rod. No, I saved it. We may need it for something. <laughs> All right. Well, that should, uh, that's going to be way more than what we had on there before. Yeah. Yeah, that's welded out, top and bottom. Full pan, full yep. pan. Yep. So I'm hoping that'll, if anything happens again, it'll be them that break, show us the weak sign. Yeah. And hopefully just fix gotcha. them. I mean, if it held as well as what it did before with what was in there, I think adding those gussets and going to stick well, I think we're in pretty good shape. We just need a window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish I cut glass. I'd have one in there. There's uh, still parts of your own window there. Yeah. Want to glue it back together? <laughs> <laughs> that, made, that, that would be one hell of a puzzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this served us good again. Oh, man, behind the scenes. You're back in luck, buddy. Oh, yeah. We're going to video it. We're going to video it from this side. Yeah. We gotta tell them what we're gonna video it from this side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. No comment. I ain't saying anything. I ain't gonna say that I could do better because I've never cut glass. This before. is true. This is true. So we took it to the local glass shop, and I do not want to. We got uh, a local buddy owns the local glass shop, and we are very lucky to have him. Won't you hold that up there so I don't break your new window? Yeah. Very lucky to have him, and honestly. Normally, they do really good work. I don't know if you guys can see that. Am I being, am I being too picky because it's a bulldozer? What is that? Is that stuck in there? No, okay, no. that came out back of my truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let them off the hook for that. So, I don't know. It'll work, I guess, won't it? Well, I'm just glad. I thought maybe you're going to leave that on the uh, window so oh. it's a reminder to me that how much it costs. To, no, I was going to say, I'm, I'm hoping they didn't see the name of the glass companies. I don't want these people calling them and complaining. Do not call the glass company and complain because we're not complaining. I promise you. We like the glass company. We have no issues with the glass company, correct? Yeah. No. No, we don't. They got it done pretty quick for us. But... <laughs> and it was a fair price. Yeah. But that does bug me for some reason. I don't know. That's like, 
that's like three quarters of an inch off. And then if you add this three eighths of an inch, that's over an inch off. Well, um, maybe we can see if we can get a sliver from them. <laughs> How about well, next time you break it, we'll just ask him to do a better job. No, I'm not. <laughs> we'll let Captain go back to breaking stuff, not me. Uh, well, before we put that in, do you think we ought to clean the old one out? Oh, I thought you did that already. <laughs> no. What were you doing whenever I was welding on that? I was working on my brush on. Playing on your phone over there in that chair. No, I was working on my brush on. See, I got, I got video evidence. <laughs> See, this is like a week later from the first half of this video, so I have to remind them how hard I was working. Remember yeah. I was over there pit crewing it, sleeping underneath your feet. Yeah, I was proud of you on that. Keep the thought, fuel in your welder. And then I thought when you had downtime, you'd been cleaning that glass. Well, out you know, since you broke it, I figured I'd let you have the honors. <laughs> and got bull skull in there, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to do a little sucky sucky on that? Take a little DeWalt sucker up. Yeah, let's, right. uh, let's give her a shot. Right. I know Milwaukee would get it. We'll see if that DeWalt will get it. Hey, I do have some good news about this whole situation. You do? Yes. <laughs> yeah, your cab's getting cleaned out. No. First we're time gonna, it's been cleaned out since you bought it. Hey, we're going to have at least one clean window. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry would be so proud. He would. If we film, we'll just have to film out this window for a while. <laughs> well, you broke out in the new one's laminated, so whenever you break it, it won't shatter as bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try to get the big stuff out. Yeah, I don't know. You think the old DeWalt's going to sucky sucky that up? We're going to find out. I don't know if you noticed how big that window was, but I guarantee you all the glass ain't going to fit in this little mess <laughs> man. Holy cow, look at that mess you got. Wowzers. Yeah. <laughs> but the window did very good. I had no glass on me when it shattered. Well, that's that's convenient. Yeah. You were staring at a log. I, I should have got a picture of it when it happened. <laughs> yeah, you did have to help get the log out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even video it. I can't believe that. <laughs> I should have. I'm so disappointed, guys. Yeah. So disappointed in myself. Uh, we were like so close to being done. We were kind of in go yeah. mode. At least you waited to the end of the job. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. And then Farmer Chris drove by and seen your window and yeah, went off you went no. home to change underwear. At least it wasn't Pat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me empty your thing before you get too carried away here. Yeah. You made a mess. You know, whenever I bought the 120, like three or four weeks after I owned it, a rock come flying off the low boy trailer and busted out the front glass. I've had it for like 15 years, and I'm pretty sure there's still glass floating around in the cab. That's a random story you guys probably didn't care to know, but now you know. Oh. All right, we're in clean out mode. Apparently it takes four full Mountain Dews to weld that up. I was just pointing out that's at least a four Mountain Dew welding job back here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Energy must have been running low that day. What my belly hurt when I went home? Motivation in a can? Yeah. Does the uh, vacuum cleaner suck it up? Yeah, sure did. That's convenient. But, I mean, I'm trying to save a little bit on it. Man, I didn't realize there was that much glass in that window. <laughs> I'd help you, but I don't have the proper protection on. Yeah. Did any of it go outside? No, it went all inside. Uh, the only little bit that went outside was when we pulled the window. Uh, you want a little scraper? Uh, yeah. Where did that little DeWalt go? Since there's no window here, I come in from the outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, behind the scenes. Now that we've got the glass cleaned up, I got even more questions than what I had before. What is that and where did it come from? Well, you know how Cadillac's got the big old bull horns? I figured I could put that big old bull head on the front of the dozer. 
I hate to be Mr. Obvious, but I think he's missing his horns. <laughs> yeah. He's missing yeah. his horns. He's missing his horns kind of like you're missing a window. Yeah, exactly. Uh. I found something. What you do with it? <laughs> what you do with it? This one right here. Oh, right here. This is how I know you ain't clean this thing since you got it from Clint. I found this behind the seat. Don't tell Clint. All wadded up. It's still, yeah. good. It's still good. And he even left a note. P.S. You are my hero, Dirt Brother. Yours truly, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you haven't always, cleaned this out. I always knew, you know. I, I, I want to say yeah, this Yeah, deep one. down. <laughs> Maybe we'll, instead of putting that on the wall the right way, where CNC equipment shows, we'll yeah. put it on the wall this way. I think so. Well, we got two of them, so we can put one like this. Yeah, there you go. And the other one we'll put. Maybe like we this. can put a little hole right here. We can hang them from the mirror, like yeah. <laughs> Maybe it can replace well, the spoon. We, we've already got the spoon. That looks a little more flammable than the spoon. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna hand this up to you. All right. All right, here we go. One precision cut. All right. Make sure you hang it up the right way. Piece of glass. Oh, a little bit heavier with glass in. Yeah. Not near as drafty either. Hey. You got all your bolts? Yes, I do. All right, I got top. Oh. At least his dozer is tall enough you can't see the bad cut job from the ground. Yeah. Right there. Good as new, they say. Oh, yeah. What size are those, you remember? Oh, uh, 17s, maybe? That sounds way too big. Does it? That looks like a 15. 15. Maybe a 16. One thing I'm, I'm going to go confirmative on those 17. Huh? I don't remember. All right, let me have you one. I'll get you a socket. All right, here's this. Let's go see. Let's go do a little investigation, folks. Fifteen, dead on the money. That's what I said, wasn't it? <laughs> no, that's not what you said. Hey, lucky for you, I'm over here working on my Ranger, and guess what's on the impact? Ah! You know, I've got a lot of projects done waiting on you in the shop. <laughs> got my brush hog right That's down. a seventeen. That is not, not a. Hey, here. What? That fifteen socket right there. That's in. See how that looks? Y'all let them see fifteen. <laughs> You just need that. All right, well, Aaron's been cleaning up glass. We had a little bit of a squealing noise going on in the Ranger. And uh, you want that back? Mm, yeah, want that back. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, that is another row. Oh, no. Is it all way? Oh, we're going to go hunting for that one. But anyways, had a little bit of squealing noise going on in the Ranger. And this little drive shaft here has got a carrier bearing on it. It went out. I have no complaints about this Ranger. It's got like 20,000 miles on it. And uh, what do I do with it? This is still a factory bearing that was in there. It's uh, it's been a good one. We also got a universal, maybe a little bit sloppy, we'll fix, but that's my piddle job while I'm waiting on Mr. Man behind the scenes over here. It's looking good there, buddy. Is that one, is it really underneath or is it all underneath? Or is it inside underneath? It's, oh, easy. Oh, you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About time something probably went right for you. Yep. Well, bad news. That cut don't look any better when it's installed. I can't see it from my house. You can't see it from the inside. That's a good thing. Yes. Yeah. It we will not we want to take Jerry. bets on how long it takes Jerry to notice. Because <laughs> that is definitely not up to Jerry's standards. I would say if he runs this dozer. What we need to do is put that CNC sticker on the window and an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clint would kill us. Yeah. We probably had enough CNC stickers. We just could have made it a CNC wall. I know it.
We got confirmation. I should have read that years ago. Yeah. That would have been uh, one year. That would have been one year ago at the fair because that's when he gave us the uh, fire extinguisher. That's right. And he, he had all them stickers in there that fire extinguisher. Yep. I didn't read the note. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clint. See, you were going to throw it away in the trash can. I at least was going to save it. Did you say Chris or Clint? Clint. So what you say? I said Clint. Okay. I said you were gonna throw it away in the trash can. You were over digging in the trash can for it. I saved it. I wasn't gonna throw it away. I had it laying on the track because I dug that out and I thought, well, And you thought I went to the trash can with the first? <laughs> oh boy. All right. I'm gonna pull it in the first. Right behind the scenes. Looks like we got all the goody out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Ready for a new one. She may have had one more mile left in her, but I think <laughs> she was gonna come out of there at some point. All right, got some new one orders, what, yeah. 32 bucks? I thought about replacing this here, but uh, I gotta order it and it costs money. I think we're just gonna hold off on that. That thing's been awesome, awesome Ranger. Yeah, it has. You know what Jenna said the other day? I know, I just, and we should have never sat I in know. them new ones. She That's... says, I can't believe out of all the stuff you bought, you haven't bought a new Ranger yet. And we were eyeballing them. Because I was anti, I, I did not well, want to get rid Well, if they one. watch the next video, they'll probably figure out why I didn't buy a new picture. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> well, let me say, we, we got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle. All right, anyways. Yeah. All right, this pickle's taken care of. Yeah. What window's broke? What it's window? Not a broken window. No, <laughs> looks, looks amazing. We got, uh, this was a productive video. We got the window back in. We got the crack fixed on the ripper. I got my brush hog back together that's been two years in the making. Yeah. I got my Ranger that's been vibrating and rattling forever. Uh, I'll take it. This was, this was a success. Yes. It wasn't all gloom yeah. and doom. All right, we're off to the next great adventure. And let me tell you guys, this one's gonna be an adventure to stay yeah. the least. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Big old thumbs up. You wanna see the next adventure, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that. Shop.perfect1.com. We got uh, a lot of new designs on there. Got some cool yeah. stuff on there. I need to get some new shirts to wear myself. Uh, check it out. Yeah. I ain't got no shirts. I don't know. We gotta work I gotta on wear it. My big foot shirt. You would probably wear that anyways. Alright, tell them bye. We gotta go. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.